Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo, Cat Dad Piper, coming to you from probably the last video out on the patio before I move out to the smoking shack, aka corner of my garage. It is November 5th, Sunday, and it is my birthday. Of course, November 5th is also the day Doc Brown invented time travel, and also a very important day if you're a fan of the film uh, V for Vendetta. But I thought I would do a little birthday yabo, a little birthday present to myself. Got a package right here. It's actually been sitting here unopened for about two weeks, and uh, I am not a patient person, so consider that an achievement. Uh, been really good this year. Haven't bought much as far as pipes or tobacco. There's a pipe I've been eyeing for a while. And a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, took a glance at a Smoking Pipes website. They had 15% off all pipes. Uh, not trying to promote them, but you gotta recognize a good deal when you see one. So I thought, okay, the pipe I want is a bit of a limited edition so to speak probably don't have any left sure enough they did so between that and the price and uh, it just being the pipe I wanted I had to pull the trigger and uh, you may have heard a little bit about that or alluding to that in uh, Brad the Bearded Piper's video I told him about the sale and he bought a pipe uh, very similar to mine, but a different shape. So let's get in here. And uh, I, of course I had to get something to go with it. And uh, here it is. Get it unwrapped. You may recognize that box already. I will say they do a great job of packaging. Almost too good a job. Set that aside. And as you can see, this is a Savinelli pipe. Savinelli is probably one of my, if not favorite, pipe manufacturers. If you don't know, the red box means that this is a St. Nicholas pipe, their annual Christmas release, that they do a little different style every year. So this is the 2023 St. Nicholas. I have the 2021 uh, 673 St. Nicholas, and I love it. Beautiful marbleized emerald stem with some nice band work. Ooh, this one's putting up a fight, though. Okay. Got your little brochures, the little reducer if you don't want to use the filters. I tend to use the filters and then once they're used up, switch to that. So much garbage here. Alright, it is assembled. And this is uh, the same shape as the second Savinelli I ever bought. Probably one of my favorite pipe shapes. Let's take a look at this for the first time. There it is. Oh my gosh. It's got a very similar band to the 2021, but this is a 320KS author, author shape. Uh, as you may know, I love blue. Hopefully the light can pick up on that. Awesome. It's almost looks dark in the shade but when the light hits it it's got that nice shiny blue and it will go very well 
We'll talk about the, more about the pipe. You guys probably want to see what else is in here. Had to get a new tobacco to go with it. Saw that this one was available. Never had it. Uh, this is from the Warped series, which means it has cigar leaf in it. This is the Warped The Haunting. And uh, I believe this is the first time they've released it as a cake. But this is the first uh, Warped Tobacco, I think, that was released. Luxurious Aroma. Heady and Vibrant. Envelopes you. Uh, dark sweetness laced with tones of leather and subtle spice rises from a gentle ember illuminating the surrounding darkness. Uh, as the tiny coal wanes, the fragrance lingers, its phantom tendrils curling, beckoning you further into the deepening shadows. Uh, this is a Virginia leaf and double A Dominican uh, Criollo. So I thought those nice warming notes, leather, spice, sounded really great for winter. I will be breaking it in with that pipe, but you know what? Let's not wait for a review. Let's do a little pop in the tin because I'm going to be smoking this very soon. It's my birthday, gotta celebrate. Ooh, I get a nice strong woof of it just popping it. And they got these uh, top, the stupid trifold. There's a nice cake, fairly moist. Some of it's broken off in there. Look at that brownie though. It smells natural. You can smell that sweetness coming from Virginia's. You can definitely smell that Dominican cigar leaf. This is going to be a very, I think, robust tobacco. Like I said, I can't wait to break that in. Um, but let's get back to the pipe here a little bit. I was going to say earlier, but I wanted to show you guys this. I feel like this will go very nicely with my collection uh, and my love of blue. Because here's my first 320, which you guys are probably familiar with. It's the natural finish. Uh, it needs a good clean-in, but it's natural finish. The blue oceano stem. I'll have to add a tip. So now I've got smooth versus rusticated. Got the oceano. And then that blue, fantastic. And then this also matches very well with my uh, K. Woody prints that I have. It's rusticated dark and uh, very, very similar stems. This one's maybe a little bit of a lighter or brighter blue. But this one's maybe a little more bold. But <laughs> kind of my twins, brothers from different mothers or manufacturers. Uh, but I'm excited. I love the 320. Can't wait to christen this with some haunting. Question is, will the haunting ghost your pipe? We'll see. Uh, stay tuned. I hopefully will have a... Uh, tobacco taster and my tobacco review on that in the next couple of weeks. I like to smoke it a few times, but anyways, glad you guys could join me for my birthday. 43 years old. At this point, age ain't nothing but a number, but uh, excited to share my finds, excited to smoke this pipe. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you soon.